all hallow tide, souls and saints abide. This is a video about uh, the making of All Hallow Tide, Souls and Saints Abide. How I turned a uh, piece for total piano, where the musician plays inside the piano, strums the strings, hits them, puts dimes interwoven between the strings and makes gamelan type sounds. I take this piece I wrote when I was 21 years old and I put it into a sampler and turned it into this, what you see in front of you right here. Uh, so some backward samples, forward samples, everything chopped up. This is Halloween 2 that you see in front of you. And uh, it was the first piece that I created out of the original recording. I literally cut it up just like we used to do with tape. Um, I cut the recording into all these little clips that you see in front of you and, and uh, I actually improvised with the clips. So let's take a look at uh, what that looks like. So this is the actual set that I used to improvise the piece. Um, I did it in real time and uh, I actually just launched the scenes We'll get sounds like this. And what you see up here, you can see reproduced down here on the push to controller. So if I launch the first scene, it sounds like that. I'm not going to let it go. I'm just going to give you a little excerpts here. For the remainder of the pieces on the album, um, I used a sampler instead. I put all of the clips uh, that I previously made pretty well into a sampler and then I did a ton of processing on the samples themselves. So uh, they're all contained here on one instrument, which is reflected on the push to like that. And you can see the titles of the pieces up here on the right. All Souls Dance 2 is down here, and then uh, much farther down is Halloween 3. Um, so uh, uh, the next video will show you um, how I actually remapped um, these sounds.